Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading vlog for two books. Technically it's a book series, but the Law and Lust series by Carla Nicole. But can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful these covers are? This is literally the only reason I picked up the book was because I saw it on TikTok and the cover just took my breath away and how they like, they match. So on the front covers, I need to explain that this is Haruka, the main character, and this is Nico, the other main character, or the love interest. So this is a gay vampires romance series. Haruka is a purebred vampire or pure blood vampire. He is highly regarded in vampire society all around the world. He's traveling through Britain for a ceremony that is taking place that he has to watch because he is one of the only purebred vampires left and it's like his duty. He has to do the ceremony with another purebred vampire who he is meeting, which is Nico. That is like all I will say for the premise because really I don't know, I can't really say much else. It's an exploration of cultures, contemporary society and romance and a whimsical spin on traditional vampire lore. I always find it interesting to see how like vampires are taken on in different books. This feels very vampire night to me because there are different levels of vampires and depending on what level you are, people, sorry, vampires act differently towards you. And Haruka in particular is quite irresistible because he has this aura. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell is with these auras. Everyone wants him, he's very beautiful, blah 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 blah. <laughs> but for this vlog, I will be reading book one and book two. Book three is coming out, but I will let you know my thoughts on the series so far. My interpretations of this so far is that this feels very Sarah J Mass to me, but I mean that in a good way, even though I don't like Sarah J Mass's writing. I can handle it in this. What I mean by that is these vampires have a very ABO-like quality, which I'm kind of very iffy on, depending on how it's executed. I'm gonna call Haruka Haru for short, but everyone wants Haru. Like, in a sexual way. <laughs> He is so divine, he is the only, one of the only purebred vampires left and I don't know, at times like the way the vampire lore comes across, it's all about like bloodlines and biology and it's very reflective of elitism and like bloodlines, race or allegories for that sort of thing. But the moment Nino and Haru meet, it's like lightning in a bottle, <laughs> their auras. Again, this is the Sarah J Mass thing that's clicking for me. You know that thing where she goes females, mates, males? Well, this one, it's got a lot of like males and female things, but it also has auras or natures. And the way I can describe it is like an aura is, do I say pheromones? Because if Haru releases his aura, all the vampires in the nearest vicinity will like want to track him down because of how irresistible his aura is. But Nino is not like that. Nino is different. He can control himself. It keeps being stated that it's a friendship when obviously Nino wants more than that. It says this is a slow burn romance but this book really centers around just Nino and Haruka. Their relationship is the plot of this story and I'm not mad at that. It's not something that I'm used to. A lot of like the conflicts are just arisen from tension in their relationship and like what one person wants and what the other wants. But there is some stuff happening with a Brazilian vampire that hints at danger and conflict incoming. So we'll see what happens. Okay, they're gonna play fight and I need to finish this vlog. Well, almost finished it. <laughs> okay, I've finished the first book and I'm left feeling very apathetic. If you follow me on Goodreads, you will be aware of my feelings after finishing this book, but I've sat with it for a couple days. Overall, it's a good book, it's okay, but I am very apathetic. I am left a little disappointed in a way. The romance is very simple. 
which is not a bad thing, but it's also just very lukewarm for me. By far the best parts of this book are Nino and Haruka, but in saying that, I feel like I don't know them still. Like, I'm not hooked to them. If you're someone who likes sweet romances, I think you will like this. It's just very, very much about them working together through their past traumas and like figuring out how to feed from each other. And it's very much like, it's very consensual, like they're working through all this stuff, which I like, but I'm just very lukewarm over this book. We'll see how the second book goes. I hope it goes somewhere, but <laughs> I'm not too sure. January 2nd, so yes, Happy New Year. I'm filming this right in 2022. It's been a long time since I finished the last book because I needed to palette cleanse. You know how it is, but so far I am 82 pages in and I feel like this book, it's setting up other couples. You have Selena and Giovanni. Giovanni is the brother of Nino. It's putting a lot of attention on them and I'm assuming there might be another couple. With each book it's going to be a different couple, possibly. So far what I can say is since this is titled The Vanishing, it focuses on the vanishing. The pure blood vampires of the past who mysteriously vanished and like no one knows why. So there's kind of a central conflict and mystery going on here. Well, not really a mystery because we, <laughs> we know why they're vanishing now because Nino has vanished and Haruka is in distress. But they're in Japan, which is a change of scenery because the first book was set in London or Britain, I should say. The thing that I like more about this now is that there seems to be more of a conflict because the first book was just like us getting to know the world of vampires and Nino and Haruka coming together. That is a plus with this. Bye. Thank you, Laszlo. You don't want to be aware that you're reading and it's not like that's the same experience with every book that I have because sometimes I'm aware that I'm reading or a lot of the time I'm aware that I'm reading and I still enjoy a book but I just want to not be conscious that I'm reading because I'm consciously trying to get this done and I'm not really enjoying it. It's not that I hate it but it's just like I'm just reading it to get it done and I don't think that should be like the motivation here. It's raining so I had some time to read. <laughs> so I'm about like halfway and the truth that I'm realizing is I'm really not in the mood to read this because I actually took time to like sink in the words and it's really, I'm not selling it to you basically because I'm just not in the mood. Like I don't want to read this now, but that doesn't mean it's bad or I won't come to it later. I just really can't read it right now because it's just, I'm not vibing with it. But in saying that, in the little that I've read just now. Honestly, Selena and Giovanni, I actually think they're a lot more interesting together rather than Haruka and Nino. So that's an interesting turn, but also it's really making me miss Japan because they're talking about like eating okonomiyaki and I'm a sucker for the <laughs> okonomiyaki. It's just bringing back memories of my homestay, but I can see other ships forming. Jun or Junichi, I think that's his name. I think he's getting set up with Nino's doctor, who's this awkward human. Yeah, I'm just not really in the mood to read this, so I think I'm just going to end the vlog here. When I don't want to read a book, the thing that I do is I end up skimming and I'm actually not reading it properly. So... <laughs> that does not feel genuine for the vlog so that's why i'm stopping it here in saying that overall what i've read so far from the second book there's a lot more going on and i think that it's genuinely got more positives than the first book because the first book is just focusing on nino and haruka's relationship and how it starts whereas this has a lot more going for it there's a lot more conflict you also have other couples being set up like giovanni and selena which i'm kind of rooting for because they're like old flames and we like old flames. Not that I've lost my interest in Nino and Haruka, but they're just kind of paling in the picture now. So yeah.